Hi, welcome everybody. Welcome at the Partner Pulse demo environment. A typical environment that provides a good introduction to two of our most frequent and important use cases. First, of how a portal manager or a channel account manager can manage and activate their partner base, a more PRM, partner relationship management kind of approach. And second, from a partner perspective, an introduction to the different tools that he or she can use for sales enablement and to engage with marketing activities. So this is more the through channel marketing use case. To give you an idea or better frame about these two use cases, let's look at the two landing pages for, the, for these two different users. First, the portal manager's perspective, what you're looking at right now. With a graphical display of the four building blocks where partner pills will focus on during setup to elevate partner support and to increase results. Being number one, our partner, our partner scorecard. Second, providing all the sales and marketing enabling tools to partners. Third, uh, provide deal registration capabilities and lead generation and nurturing tools. And finally, our expert, expert support uh, and MDF management. And then there's the partner's perspective, the partner homepage. This is a fully personalized environment that can display the most relevant activities for individual partners when they log in. I will handle these two use cases separately. So the partner managers and the partner's perspective. But before we get to the before we get to that, I would like to point out some of the basic principles that we follow for all our implementations. Personalization, as with look and feel, is very important for us throughout the whole platform. We know that this greatly enhances the adoption of the tools and the platform in general. And therefore, every functionality we make, we try to create an as smooth and as easy as possible experience and fully customizable to vendor needs and communication styles. Every page has an added functionality over here. Uh, every page has an added functionality over here uh, where you can fully customize the look and feel, the usability or the user guidance according to your needs. Together we can make this fit exactly to your existing systems or communication guidelines. That brings me to one of the first more detailed discussions of today's demo, the accessibility. You, um, your partners, or even your suppliers um, can get access to our cloud platform via your own login page. And of course, just like all other pages, it's fully customizable uh, as you can see in these different examples. Uh, you can add publicly av available information on this page. And if you add a menu over here, you can even create multiple landing pages that are publicly accessible. Um, everything you see here, by the way, is 24 seven available on our cloud, um, as it is a cloud environment. Um, over here, you see we have single sign-on capabilities, um, which can provide a smooth non-login experience for partners. And if you enable the functionality for users to register for a login, the details will be sent through an appropriate administrator to validate before sending out the credentials. During setup, we'll import the users for you, or we can create a synchronization sequence with already existing systems in your infrastructure. And users, when they log in, will only see what they're eligible to see, uh, and this can be managed via user roles and groups. Now back to our vendor home page. Let's look at the more exciting stuff. 
Coming back to our four building blocks, let's start with the partner scorecard. Just to be sure, um, we're viewing this page as a portal manager or as a channel account manager. Our dynamic scorecards are the basis or fundament of everything that we do. It's the landing place, landing place for you and your channel account managers, and they provide direct insights into all the capabilities and the activities and the results of your partners in this platform, and also from other already existing systems um, if you, in your organization, if you can connect to them. Before I show all the functionalities on this screen, let's first have a look at the details of a scorecard. I reckon this will help frame the possibilities a bit. As you can see, oops, as you can see, it looks pretty similar to a typical CRM-like screen, with attributes and the like providing all the details um, of the partner. During setup, we'll configure this um, with predefined attributes to kickstart the usage of this. Some key features of this screen. Um, firstly, you see weighted scorings. Over here and over here. These can be based on percentages, um, as in percentage of the whole group of partners, or based on scoring, a um, number of points per answer or per attribute. Uh, a second thing is that we have computed or dynamic values based on combinations uh, of other values or related to time. This is very powerful for doing multidimensional scoring. We have predefined channel related content and questionnaires about marketing and sales capabilities um, for you based on our years of experience. These soon will be integrated as a, and presented as a wizard over here as well. There's an easy management and drag and drop like administration, um, which is pretty, pretty straightforward to learn. It provides all the activities, you can get direct access to all the activities um, from your partner within our platform um, that you want to report on. And of course, you can add them very simple. You can even see, if you go to the activities page, oh, to the activities page, um, you can see the details and the reports of all the campaigns that he or she is running. I'll go to this part, I'll come to this part later on as well in the next part of the demo. There are documents that you can co work on or to do's, trackable to do's that you can send out to partners here as well. And finally, um, we have the lead funnel over here. This can give you direct insight um, in all lead details, if privacy settings allow that, and can give full um, uh, pipeline visibility. This, by the way, can also be uh, done for other data sets, like projects or campaigns or service requests, um, uh, whatever that you want to co-work on with your partners. We'll come to this section later on as well. Um, now we go back to, the, to the, the overview page again. You have a good idea of what, this, what the scorecard is all about. Here we go. Needs to refresh. Here we go. Um, back to the overview again. To utilize all these different parameters and attributes that I just showed you, we've designed multiple views or ways to help you create real-time uh, cross-sections from which you can derive your insights about what is going on in your network and what is not. 
this one, this is the scorecard view, and we use this for comparison and for um, uh, inline editing. Um, you can add, very simple, uh, new dimensions to what it is that you want to see. Um, here you go. A percentage of your total revenue is software resale. And make cross sections of all the attributes that are relevant for you. We have a Kanban view. And the Kanban view is for is, is to track progress. And and every every time related attribute that we have in the system can be selected here on top. And you can see the progression on the different pipeline, on the different elements of the pipeline. And then finally, they're the customizable dashboard views. It can give you good and good insights into how partners are progressing over time, as you can see over here, uh, or visual KPI reporting that are most relevant for you um, um, at, at, at the stage where you're currently at. At any time, you can just click on it and drill down to see who is doing what or not. Or create a selection of people. Um, I can do that over here. Create a selection of people. There you go. And plan your actions. Um, you can think about actions like um, 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 share personalized content uh, to potential partners, for example, um, or distribute questionnaires, uh, or plan a meeting or set tasks, or uh, send a trackable uh, um, activation email. Here you go. To activate a partner on uh, on, on getting to this getting to the platform, or for example. Um, all sorts of activities can be done directly out of um, out of out of this selection. It's very easy to create, also from an actions point of view, it's very easy to create new landing pages uh, for the different subsections of the of the scorecard, and these landing pages can be published online. Let's look. Let's take a look at this one. Uh, a recruitment landing page. Um, so this is online available via an URL. And uh, this one is used for recruitment purposes and it's linked to that scorecard. So as soon as someone fills in information or um, that's stored on the scorecard, uh, and of course all activities are logged there as well. All partner pills installations come with a, a couple of templates um, to set up and, and, and configure these pages quickly. To finalize the different views, uh, to finalize the different views um, uh, that we have for showing data, there are also two more expert views um, uh, to the data. First, there's a, a workflow view where you can do your, your automation uh, or your content distribution. And second, there's an external connections view where you can connect to your external systems or even custom APIs where you can get directly access to. Uh, of course, this is for application integration. All these different views are designed to give you full grip over your partner data and to power your next actions. To close this part of the demo, I would like to discuss or I'd like to disclose to you that we soon introduced two very exciting new technologies, um, I, which I can't show you right now, um, but I can can tell you a little bit about it. So if you look at the um, um, if you look at uh, the, the partner scorecard on the details, the first thing we'll introduce is a um, um, a unique web crawler technology. This web crawler will search for, for important digital updates in your partner network. 
um, and it will do all the field the field research for you and in your partner network uh, and automatically update uh, these parameters for you or it can even search for new partners or potential partners based on scorecard characteristics the second thing we'll introduce soon is some more easy planning of changes and exception notifications um, um, which you can distribute to the right person to plan action or follow-up like um, um, after 30 days of this value um, um, this should go to to another level um, and this will replace uh, the workflow module that i just showed you this concludes let me close this one this concludes the introduction to the key features of the scorecard and how they relate to the rest of the platform and how it acts as a cockpit of planning and tracking your partner's capabilities, the activities and results. For the next part of the demonstration, I will, I will change to the role of partner that visits the partner portal for marketing and sales support and look at the different enabling tools that we have available.